Tomo is a brake car and he's a new friend for Thomas and his friends. And he's also autistic like me. He is funny, smart, and he's a very relaxed character. He, he can get really overwhelmed, he can get worried, and he's his comedy to get past, to get past situations. Sometimes I lose my <laughs> train of thought. He loves schedules and timetables when everything goes to plan. I like to talk about the schedule when I'm feeling sad. He can flap his um, ladders to, to, to tell you if he's upset or if he's, ha if he's really excited. So um, he can use his items to show you how he's feeling. It's important that everyone sees autistic characters on our screens because there are 160,000 school age autistic children in the UK and they want to see their stories told. But it's also important that non-autistic children can get insight and understanding into what it can be like to be autistic. When I won the role of Bruno, I imagined oh, that it was a dream, but it wasn't. I felt really excited and happy. What Elliot brings to this role is his joy and enthusiasm, his autistic experiences, and just brings the character to life. I might play train tag, but it's not very orderly. His ear defenders, I, I do relate to, because if there's a really loud noise, I can't cope. I can get quite worried about things. I have to think of new strategies, same as Bruno. It's good to remember every stop you've made. Thanks, Bruno. Well, it's a real moment for autism because the history of autistic children and their relationship with Thomas and Friends has been massive. And I think to really recognise the importance of reflecting neurodiversity and autism in Thomas is an amazing moment for Mattel, for Thomas and for autistic people. It's greater that they are representing autistic characters because I watched Thomas and Friends and for there to be an autistic character, it makes me feel very happy and just very excited.